Yeah, the big pan lick class are what? Look up on big when I lay black them. Look up on big? Mm -hmm. Not directly, matter. So long as you don't have a straight joint. Boy, if you don't. Straight joint. You're not you know, making small part, sit down on the big part. Huh? You're not making small small side of the block, sit down on the bigger side of the block. Oh, okay, sir. Yeah. yeah. Small side go down. Oh, big okay. side go up. Well, for man, I know that. Enough. Yeah, but I don't school me go to learn that. <laughs> Common sense, tell you that. They are the same matter for sit down on wider. Mm. Are you eating at all? Still, enough man on the way to do. Let me not see all man on the street, Jane. Go to play and say, I'm here. Say, fuck, 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 Good morning, team. I just said, What are doing today? Welcome back to And in today's installment, no, you don't know what things it. Earlier, I'm showing us some black work. Now we are. Uh, fit in some closet and prepare for install some grease trap trap color basin and manuals work on this foundation where well, this video I go basically go around um, you know the substructure of the building hopefully like save a little money here and there in a substructure building so we're up on the unit where we made it show no, in a previous vlog where we do excavation um i don't make it show no, the casting of the footing but we are taking care of the black work now with that black work now we come up to the floor so we have the substructure and so they know anything with the underneath so basically this is one thing we want to show no. here's a now you see breadth between that breadth are basically the width so you see a breadth in the breadth between the steel and the the black work is too much too much too much too much if we we wanted a two inch two inch coverage with this with from the steel the rebar two inch coverage of concrete this i may look on at least five to six inches are covered that are more cubic yard uh, cement a uh, concrete you gonna pour down this i gonna increase your cost uh construction for do a substructure because a black work start way too far away from the steel work so you come as close you try to break it to whatever measurement you want so you ensure that you're missing they are break the building properly and give them big old space here because these spaces carry up the cost of construction okay so <clears throat> show now again you have here so again and you start laying the first block too far right there so all right it could have come off a little bit more but that's gonna make me spend an extra bag or two or cement where me never plan for spin. I want to see if they took that $2,000 there because it's $1,000, roughly a thousand a bag of cement. Um, it's very important for you guys to construct your building um, to withstand lateral forces. So where we do that, as stiff as them is a part of it, you know, but we want the building hold and be one. So connecting the building to one, we use the tie beam, the belt beam on top but we run a horizontal bar so every three row we go we try to do a horizontal bar and to hook the to hook the bar in the stiffener column we you know about all right there's such thing called development length development length is steel to concrete so you carry the steel i remember the development length out of my head right now but when i can google it and get on i get so boop 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 and we ensure that all the vertical bars them go through um a block so if you if you look 
all of them go through a specific block, go through a specific block, regardless of which hole. Because you can see them in the front hole and that one there, run high back. Them one here, run high back. So, and as we, the main thing that I said earlier, what made a point out to you earlier is you have two sides to the block. You have the small part and you have the bigger side. There's a particular way you're supposed to lay it. Big supposed to be a top and small come lay down on top of it. So as you can look, any person where you see now, slightly look on him block them before him, you lay them, you know, say, hasta la vista, time for you to go home. Sure again, so the block pockets then cast. That's very important, you know, on the hollow walls, you cast the pocket them. Or, the, you hear some people call them the block, block core. Yep. What else? The space in between each block. It shouldn't be thicker than this. Bigger than this. Any good mason knows say uh, you don't want it thicker than your, your little finger. Some of them when they are laid, they literally put them little finger beside the block and then drop the block. What else can I show you guys? Because you guys are very interested in the videos and I love if folks are interested in other videos, eh? It kind of motivates me to continue. And when you leave comments down in the comment section, let me know what one of the car. I realize that a lot of you guys are built and interested in going through certain things with you guys and you guys is building. And for the people that um, do construction on my channel, I want to do high rise building and that, we all understand, say. Um, a two different building with the brother. And as I'm telling you, all of the vegetation have to come out. Um, all of the vegetation have to come out. Marl already dropped. So I have to just keep an eye for insurance. Uh, we oversight because it's very important. And uh, yeah, Blackwork is supposed to be done up by tomorrow. I'm going to come by tomorrow again. And uh, you know, give the guys an update. And yeah, and then I come every some of you guys probably are asked, Yo, I smash, why didn't cut the steel so short right here? So, certain, certain places, um, windows are go and you cut the steel, and in order for you, you steel way down there, so you know, one game steel as high as that is why because I'm have to carry the block over it, you can cut them and push them in, but they don't really want to do so much work, so you cut them. But it's very important again, that's when you lock the steel. Which, uh, which is the lapping length is steel on steel you try to keep it at four, 40 dia which is 40 times the diameter of the steel so we use um, half inch also guys please ensure that the hooks the hooks on your stirrups you yeah, get your 135 degrees hook and then what I make them too short ensure they space in them correct and ensure they get your hook there because when you pour concrete you want it hooky you want to have something for hold on to you know just want to stir up them dead here don't make no steel man again just having the stir up there without having a hook we need hooks in this foundation have a step up so our we crank is steel we gotta try catch back the the two inch difference with the in between the blocks them the spaces between the blocks them but we never get for that mason in particular never get for this so we're going we might crank the steel or make them separate when we put in the bar in between good morning again t marsh Mush. this is day two of the black lane vlog masonry vlog where we are lay blocking a substructure and we just have to continue with the video so I'm on my way back down to the site and uh, I will just get an update from within reach and uh, we'll show now a few more things let's get it if you keep in mind say a female block then limited enough
I want to save the limited amount for the jam them. So why moving on? Someone told me that I could find it. I will find my way. Gotta keep looking. If it's not fair, yeah, that concludes the vlog. And the black work that I finish by tomorrow. I don't think I need to say anything else in regards to that. Um, I have a, a road work thingy I'm going to show you. Know? Alright. Work pan we do know, so I'm gonna stay tuned for that. T Maris Mash, thanks for watching this vlog. Hope you guys enjoy this vlog as per usual. I know you guys have a tendency to love the vlogs, them and they just need to continue. And yeah, I have projects in store for show you guys. But as I say, in due time, look a look at me, I try open up a channel to those things. I may have to ask for permission and anything. Some people private, they don't really want them work and YouTube so we can't put everything on YouTube so I'm just basically a pump what they hear so in a channel but I just hope all of this is sufficient for you you know you get where you get out that channel and uh, say so yeah but differently from that I a construction and adventure we are going the same way but we are working on construction grounds we have big things in our plan and our makings so I'm gonna stay tuned for that because I think I'll get spicy. You know? It's spicy already, but we got a little bit more sauce there. You understand? So yeah, take my smash. Thanks for watching this vlog. I truly appreciate you guys. Um I know hit the post notification bell because I realize that that's very important. Very very important. So yeah, stay tuned for another stay tuned for my next video and I'll see you guys then. I'm out.